your target for shutdown compliance should be 100%. We're saying that best practice, uh, I probably should say that a few times, Best practice, we see they're following the schedule up to 95% of the time. So only have like 5% of break-in work normally during a major shutdown. So what is actually affecting the efficiency here? And, you know, this is not what you don't want to see there in the picture. One guy working and 10 guys work, look, watching him or her. So that's something to think about. I mean, that's kind of the job of scheduling. How do we use, utilize resources? But it also goes into the planning before that, of course. Uh, emergency work, of course, be the big one. You know, you stop doing the things that you already plan the schedule to do. Uh, if the work scope is not correct, it's creeping because you didn't really understand it. And that will happen sometimes. Your estimates are not accurate in terms of time. Trades are not available maybe, or there's some coordination between trades. It could just be between the little right and the electrician sometimes, standing there waiting for each other. Uh, are the materials available? Are they close to the job site? Uh, maybe missing some tools. Uh, what I see a lot of time, the permit is not done. Or we have these things that could happen that you, <laughs> maybe that's part of the contingency plan. You're working outside and this suddenly this thunderstorm coming in. 